Today we're going to be looking at how to solve this differential equation here, x dy dx minus y equals x cubed, given that y equals 1 when x equals 1. Um, now what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to uh, go through the five steps on how to solve an equation of this type, and then we're going to apply those five steps to this particular equation to get our solution. Now first of all, just a, just a briefly, um, first order means that the equation only has dy dx, i.e. not d2y dx squared or anything like that. A non-homogeneous means that this is not zero. If this was zero, then we could actually solve this equation quite easily by separation of variables. So that's what it means. Okay, so anyway, these are the five steps on how we will solve this type of equation, which is an absolute mainstay of college entrance uh, exams. Right, so step one is we get the equation into the form dy dx add f of x, y equals g of x. So easy so far. Step two, we calculate the integrating factor, which is e to the integral of fx dx. And I'll explain why we do that in step three. In step three, we then multiply by whatever that integrating factor is, and we get this rather horrific looking equation here. But then in step four, when we integrate both sides, what happens to all of this is that it becomes e to the integral fx dx times y. And we can see why that is, because if we differentiate y times e to the integral of f of x dx, if we differentiate that with respect to x, then we get dy dx times e to the integral of fx dx at y times the differential of e to the integral of fx, well, the differential of, of e to the integral of fx dx equals e to the integral of fx dx times by the differential of that, which by definition is f of x. So by the product rule, this integrated becomes this, and that is why we use the integrating factor. Now, this right-hand side here can be anything. Um, and you just have to use your integrating skills uh, to integrate that. But anyway, in step four, once we've done that, this bit is sorted, this bit could be anything, and this bit is our constant of integration, and then in step five, all we do is we use our initial conditions, x0 and y0, to calculate the constant of integration and solve our differential equation. Okay, so let's go back to the actual equation in hand here. x dy dx minus y equals x cubed, given that y equals one when x equals one. Okay. Step one, get the equation into this form. Well, that, that's easy. We just divide everything by x. Okay, um, and I'm just going to rewrite that actually as dy dx minus 1 over x times y equals x squared. And the reason I'm going to write that is because then we can say that this here is f of x and this here is g of x, just so we can see uh, that it is in the... Uh, uh, in the correct form. Now, calculate the integrating factor, step two, is e to the integral of f of x. We know f of x is minus one over x, so that becomes e to the integral of minus one over x dx. Okay, now the integral, uh, which is e to the uh, minus integral one over x dx, and e, uh, the integral of one over x dx is log x, which gives us e to the minus log x, which equals e to the log x minus one, and this we will find all the time is that we end up with e to the power of log of something. Well, e to the power of log of something is simply that something, x to the minus 1, which is 1 over x. So our integrating factor, e to the integral of fx dx, is 1 over x. So step 3, we multiply everything by the integrating factor. So here, let's bring uh, this equation down. Whoops, sorry. Uh, that's dy dx minus y over x is x squared. So we have dy over x uh, minus y over x equals x squared. That's what we had, wasn't it? Yeah. Yep. And we have to multiply everything by the integrating factor. So that gives us 1 over x dy dx minus y over x squared equals x. Step 3, nice and easy. Step four, we now need to integrate both sides. Now, we've already discussed that this side, because of the integrating factor, integrates to y times by the integrating factor, which was uh, one over x. So we know that that is y over x, that bit, and integrating x is quite simple, the integral of x dx. So we have here y equal over x equals x squared over two add 
our constant of integration. That's step four. Now we're lucky here that uh, this side of the equation actually gave us an extremely simple interview, uh, in integral in terms of x. Sometimes this can be very difficult, but that's for another video. Okay, now step uh, five is that we have uh, here, that's step five, so when x equals one, y equals one, so all we need to do is put that into there. So we have y over x equals x squared over two add c. Well, when x equals one, y equals one, that gives us one equals a half add c. So add c, sorry, add c, so c clearly equals a half, and so therefore our answer is y over x equals x squared over 2 add a half, or just tidying that up, we have that y equals x cubed over 2 add x over 2, or equals x over 2 x squared plus 1, and that is the solution to the particular question. Um, I hope you found this uh, useful. Um, we'll be doing more uh, videos on, uh, on this type of uh, first order uh, non-homogeneous uh, differential equation, um, especially in dealing with the integrating factors because there are certain tricks that you can use on that. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, please like it and uh, subscribe to the Gresty Academy YouTube channel.